Hey guys, in this video, I want to do a really quick video showing you how to uh, use different types of batteries with the SEMA X4. Now the SEMA X4, the battery that comes with it is I think is like 150 milliamps, which is pretty small, but um, I don't have a lot of those types of batteries. Instead, I have batteries for my UDI and my Hubsons, which are slightly bigger. They're 240 milliamps, and of course, they don't fit inside the battery bay. So instead of buying more batteries and newer batteries, I just decided to use the batteries that I already have. And these, since these are slightly bigger, they're not going to fit in there. And what I did was I, I modded it so that um, you would basically hook it up from the outside using a couple of zap straps. So, so with the SEMA X4, the battery bay is actually too small for the types of batteries I want to use because this is a battery from my Hubson X4 and um, also my uh, UDI 816 and it doesn't fit in the compartment with the uh, battery door. So I had to figure out a way to mount the battery on the outside instead. So this is what you do. Uh, basically you need to drill a few holes on the on the back of the battery door. I'm drilling six because I'm gonna put three zap straps. I think three might be a little bit overkill. You might be able to get over two uh, to hold the battery in but anyways I use this drill this, and I just basically just hand drilled it. it. The plastic is quite soft so you don't need any you know an actual drill to drill these holes. So it's quite safe. And then you need three of these zap straps. And what after you're done drilling it, what you need to do is basically put them through the holes here, like this. And then you push it through the holes here, and over here as well. So they look something like this. They went through the holes and then you just lock it in lightly. And then this is where you can figure out how, depending on the size of your battery, this is a 240 milliamp battery. It The SEMA X4 could probably handle up to three, 300 or 350 even. Uh, but these are the types of batteries I have. I have about a dozen of these. These are for my other uh, micro quads, uh, mini quads. And um, um, you just fit it in here like that and just kind of pull it snug, but not too tight because you want to be able to take it out as well because you want to be able to swap them out. Uh, snug enough where it do wouldn't move around when you're flying, but not too tight where you can't put it back in. So this is snug enough. And then once you have the right kind of uh, tightness for the zap straps, you can cut off the excess here. And this is what you're left with. So it's mounted on here fairly snug and it shouldn't fall off. And then what you want to do is just put the battery door back on. And then you can, um, this is where it's a good idea to probably screw the battery door back on. that screw that it came with. This way when you're pulling the battery out you don't um, rip out the door with it. So there that's it. And then this way you can plug the battery up like normal. And still be able to use like bigger batteries. The stock battery door and the compartment was actually a bit of a pain in the butt to change the batteries because when the battery is depleted you gotta take off the screw take off the battery cover and then thread the you know wire through that hole there and it was a pain in the butt to change the battery but now now with this method you can just pull out the battery uh, swap in another one and just plug it in here make sure that's in there snug and not moving around plug it in and you're ready to go again so it's a lot easier than before, I think, and it's a it's a much better improvement over the previous battery um, compartment. Anyways, that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you found it useful, and if it did, comment, like, or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.